Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to break down the key characteristics of a sine wave, which is the fundamental waveform for alternating current, or AC. Let's start by looking at the overall shape. This green line represents a voltage that is constantly changing over time. It starts at zero, rises to a maximum positive value, falls back through zero to a maximum negative value, and then returns to zero. This entire journey is called one full cycle. The time it takes to complete one cycle is known as the time period. Now, let's define the different ways we can measure this wave's voltage. First is the peak value, also called the max value or amplitude. This is the highest point the wave reaches, either in the positive or negative direction. It's labeled here as VP or Vmax. Next is the peak to peak value, labeled VPP. This is the total voltage swing from the lowest negative point all the way up to the highest positive point. It's simply twice the peak value. Then we have the average value. Now, if you were to average the entire cycle, the positive and negative halves would cancel out, giving you zero. So, the average value shown here refers to the average of just one half cycle. This value is about 63.7% of the peak value, or the peak value multiplied by 0 0.637. Finally, we have the most common and useful measurement, the RMS value, which stands for root mean square. The RMS value is the effective value of the AC voltage. It's the value that would produce the same amount of heat or power in a resistor as an equivalent DC voltage. This is the number you see when you measure an AC outlet with a multimeter. The RMS value is about 70.7% of the peak value, or the peak value multiplied by 0.707. So, to quickly recap, the peak value is the maximum, peak to peak is the total swing, and the RMS value is the effective or practical value used for power calculations. Thanks for watching.